Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans, game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh, no, oh, no. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Well, it was the final tune-up today for the University of Akron football team prior to next Saturday's Blue Gold scrimmage over at Infocision Stadium as we spend a few minutes with head football coach Terry Bowden. And coach, early in the scrimmage, it was all defense and the offense took over. What are your uh, thoughts before we take a look at the tape? Well, you know, we start our scrimmages on the minus 20-yard line and, and go from there. It was turnovers. You know, we led the league in turnover margin last year and we, and we uh, won the Eastern Division. We had three turnovers that went for scores. Yeah. Now those are things that we may be trying something new and our quarterbacks are, are stepping outside of something they would normally do, but those kind of mistakes we have to eliminate turnovers for score. I think it's a good teaching moment because yeah. it was at a Saturday scrimmage in the spring uh, that we teach that. But if you do that, you're very likely not even going to catch up because in the second the half of the scrimmage, when we played on the plus side of the 50, the offense scored every single time, not one field goal. And so I'm not happy that the defense didn't stop them there, but the turnovers early made it a definitely a defensive scrimmage. Then the offense, again, finished strong on the positive side of the, of the, of the 50, uh, which gave, it, it gave them something to build on too. You know, the defense, uh, we talked about the offense last week. The defense, so it looks like they could have a veteran group maybe start as many as 10 seniors on that side of the ball. Yeah, I mean, this this group ought to gel together. They've got a lot of lot of playing time, a lot of experience, uh, a lot of MAC experience. These guys have been together a long time. Uh, I've got high expectations for this group, again, as they continue to develop. It's going to take not just hard work and dedication, but there's a little chemistry involved because there's so much chemistry involved with defense of 11 people depending on each other we've got to see as, as much of that as we can because the potential is really high for this defense let's talk a, uh, about a couple of local kids Justin Sampson from St. Vincent St. Mary DeAndre Brimage from East these two guys may not start but they're definitely going to play a lot of football well there'll be a lot of guys that, that play a lot of football that are local but those are two guys that are fairly new Justin Sampson from St. V uh, uh, was a true freshman last year. I mean, he was Marcus Watley, who was their head coach, says one of the best athletes come out of there in his time that he's ever been at St. V because he could play quarterback, wide receiver, running back, defensive end, linebacker, and he played a little bit of everything. But we've moved him to defensive end. He's gone from 200 to 225, and he can play football. So when we teach him to play our speed and play with our intensity, uh, he's got the talent to play very well. So that name comes out. Uh, DeAndre Brimage from East Akron, He's just a 290-pound guy that plays hard every snap. That just got we got some good people in front of him that've been around for a little bit, but he's got he's a young one that we're really excited about. Looks like you have great depth at the linebacker too. Maybe too deep out there. Well, we we do what I what I like is that we've got three starters that have played a lot. You know, with counting Demarcus Lloyd, who was was redshirted last year as a senior, has coming back. You know, with that group, Brian Bell moved to the inside linebacker position. Glissies Gilbert. Then you're backing those guys up with a lot of guys that played a lot. Lot too, especially John Laco and uh, and uh, freshman Bubba Arslanian from Aurora is playing very very well there as well. Of course, next Saturday is the uh, Blue Gold scrimmage final chance to take a look at next year's football team. What do you want to see next Saturday? There's still a lot of jobs open, or things pretty well set. Well, I thought, you know what, a Saturday scrimmage is a little bit, as far as we just want to go out there and have a great fan day where it's good weather, get the fans out there, play, try to play an exciting football game. You'd probably have to force the, de de the defense to play vanilla to make it exciting because yeah. it tends to favor the defense in the things that we want to do. But we're going to go out there and try to divide it up and make it a fun day more than anything else. It's a, it is a last day where a guy can go out there and make something happen and make a positive impact. But mostly, we want it to be a day where we can showcase our program to all the folks waiting for next year. Final impression about the spring, what do you think? Yeah, so far so good. I think we're learning what we can do, who can play, and we've made some great strides. We just got to have one more week of really good practice to get us ready for the offseason. There you go, head football coach Terry Bodden. We'll see you at InfoCision Stadium next Saturday noon kickoff. This is Joe Dunn for head coach Terry Bodden, and as always, go Zips.